G'day YouTubers. Uh, today I'm doing a side-by-side uh, -side comparison of a Black Rock IPA and a um, Thomas Cooper's Selection IPA. Um, both with two kilos of Brew Enhancer number two, both the same temperature, the same uh, volume of you know 23 liters um, both the only difference both dry hopped with cascade five days prior to the end of fermentation uh, the only difference being that the Thomas Cooper's was brewed after uh, I brewed the um, black rock and therefore uh, it is two weeks less bottle aged I mean, the Black Rock IPA, which I just opened, so don't worry if it doesn't hiss, you know, because I already opened it, actually, and then I realised I wanted to do the pour on uh, here. So here we have it. This is the Black Rock IPA. Very healthy specimen. It's a little cloudy and it's kind of uh, a very, very light, almost a light brown, but it's kind of amber sort of thing. And now I will pour up. And as you can see, this is a lot darker. Let me just show you once again. Oh, the hops have gotten all mixed up in there now. See, this is the Black Rock IPA this is the Thomas Cooper's IPA which I believe being it that it's darker it should have more malt characteristics to it open that very gently indeed okay This is 10 days in the bottle, and the other is uh, 24 days in the bottle. It's nice and cold because I've put it in the fridge a wee while ago. And this is the two beers we're talking about. I mean, this one is actually, this Thomas Cooper's one, is actually fairly damn clear. But what I'm first of all going to try is... The Black Rock. Okay, so we'll give it a nose, and you can, you can. T it's very slight floral notes to it, but it's more, um, uh, you know, the the Cascade. I mean, the Cascade's not over the top. But it's it's one ounce of Cascade, and a fourteen day fermentation. It was nine days, and then I dry hopped for the last five days she's a fairly fairly nice smell we'll give it a taste and see what we got it's um I don't know it's it's sort of not really all that malty but um it's um it's you can definitely pick up the cascade in there um it sort of start to finish cascade and i mean i'm not going to make this a big deal i just thought i'd do this after i was on on uh, a channel last night and they said to me well why don't you do a youtube video of it and here's the uh, thomas cooper's in comparison you can't really pick up the cascade very much to be honest it's more malty anyway let's punch it in the nose
I I personally think that the Coopers is actually better. It's, a, it's only by a, a, a whisker. But I do believe it, it has got a much more creamy mouthfeel. Um, it's just... It's just overall more palatable, more um, more easy going, you know. Um, and I think the the hops stand out more in the black rock because the black rock is maybe some plainer malts. I, I don't, plainer grains were used to make it. I'm not too sure, but it's just a, a very. I mean, flavor wise, the black rocks here. The Thomas Cooper's is sort of up here, if you can understand that. I mean, there's just a lot more flavour to the Thomas Cooper's. I, I, I think it's a nice beer. It's a very nice beer. Although, for me, here in New Zealand, it's going to cost me almost twice the price for the Cooper's as it is for the Black Rock. <laughs> and... I gain no benefit other than it tasting a little bit nicer. It's probably, if I put a percentage on it, I mean, if I if I mark them out of 10, 10 being the absolute best kitten kilo that I've ever tried, that I have ever tried, um, I would rate, this is just the kitten kilo rating, out of 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest, I would say... The Black Rock would get a a healthy six and a half, and the Coopers would be a seven and a half to an eight, because it's probably one of the best kits that I've tried anyway, and and I've I've only really experienced my own pretty much. No, that. I've got to give it to, to Coopers, um, they make fantastic beer kits, um, it's just a shame that I, I can, I mean I can get the lager, the draft, the real ale, the dark ale, the stout, all for 12 bucks. That kit cost me $34 delivered, because I had to buy it online, and the Black Rock IPA I can get from my local Benin store. And it's twenty dollars or nineteen ninety something or other. Anyway, cheers and uh, Merry Christmas to everyone out there, and uh, hope you have a great New Year. Cheers and seventeen.